All right, he's making here, and it's, uh, it's uh, sad, sad to say, but this is one of those. So I broke my Sauron again. Well, technically, Hades Mega didn't break it; somebody else did. All right, so um, uh, here's the story. All right, <laughs> I know what is the last thing that I broke on this bike. Well, you can see this is one thing that's broken with it right now. Um, yeah, I broke the motor and the controller. That was the last thing I broke on the bike. So I got that fixed. It's just a never-ending, uh, never-ending string of stuff breaking and Hades Omega fixing stuff. If you like to fix stuff, the Sauron's the bike for you, man. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here's the scoop. On Saturday was the Santa Rosa Indoor Short Track Races, okay? It's a, it's like an indoor flat track, all right, and a really short track. It's an oval, almost like a circle. Um, and well, we raced in the mini bike race. It was called the Mad Dog Race, and um, or the Mad Dog Class, and it was like um, I think up to 150 cc air-cooled bikes were in that class, all right? Well, Hazen Meg is riding an electric bike, so actually, technically, it's air-cooled. It's an air-cooled bike, so, <laughs> okay? Um, so, I, I think it's okay, but anyways, so, um, there was another guy, there was actually another electric bike racing in that class, and it was a Zero FX, all right? Boy, if you guys seen a Zero FX, it's a motorcycle. It's a it's a, you know, it's a full-size motorcycle, like like my DR650 back there, yeah. It's a full-size motorcycle, racing in the mini class, all right? In a mini class, the dude shouldn't have been there anyways, but yeah, so it, it had like a 21-inch front, it, it was like a full-size kind of dirt bike type of thing, all right, it was a dual sport. Um, it was a 2023 Zero FX, all right? I, have I ridden one of those? I rode the FXE, that's what I did. Um, anyway, um, it's just pretty much the same bike. But anyway, um, yeah, so we weren't, we were racing, all right? And then um, the, the, the sad thing is like he lapped me a couple times because my bike didn't start and everything. That, so that's, that's the story. And then so I cross the finish line and he just hits me. He bulldozes me, he plows into me. So I think I'm, I'm turning and then he just plows into me. Um, and, and you know what? If you're in the front of somebody um, and they hit you from behind, it's their fault. It's their fault, all right? <laughs> just like just like in an accident, if you rear in somebody, it's your fault that you rear in them because you weren't paying attention. It's it's the person in the back responsibility that if, if they're going to pass, they have to pass safely, all right? Because cause when you're racing, you're paying attention to what's in front of you, all right? You, you're, when you're like on a racetrack or you're racing or whatever, you're paying attention to what's in front of you, not what's behind you, okay? So that's why it's the person's behind you responsibility. If they're, can, if they're gonna pass you, they have to pass you safely, all right? So anyway, I'm turning and this guy plows through, hits me like, he, um, I watched the video and he hits me and then I, I think I go flying. Me and the bike go flying for a while, all right? And then, and then I land and we low slide. All right, low side, um, and with me underneath the bike. All right, I got a quick video of it. Check it out. Oh! What the heck? All right, yeah. So that's what happened, and then so um, uh, I so I found out that I busted this off. All right, and yeah. So me and the bike went sliding. I don't think any damage happened to the bike because we were sliding. What I think ha happened, uh, my bike got damaged because he hit it it was a collision all right he hit contact all right so um this rear fender is supposed to be right here all right and it's not all right i didn't even know it was broken until somebody brought it to me in the pit brought they brought it, they brought it and they left it on my bike in the pits so i was like oh shit it broke and so, so just think about it this is sitting right here this is not easy to break off all right guys it's literally where the wheel is all right so when he hit me, he had to hit me hard enough to, to hit this, all right? It, it, so he hit my swing arm and it went, the, this broke off and we, it hit me hard enough to go flying, all right? If you guys don't know, a Zero FX weighs like, like 280 pounds, almost 300 pound bike, all right? The Sauron weighs like only like 125, 130 stock, all right? So this is, this is like, is like half the weight of that FX. So, that's why we just went flying, man. And this guy was a big old guy, all right? So, yeah. So a big guy on a bigger bike, on a skinnier guy on a little, a smaller bike. Yeah, man, just put two and two together. 
when you go into a collision, man, we went flying, dude. We, we flew a couple feet, then we slid a couple feet, all right? That's what happened, all right? But, but that's not what damaged the bike. I have sliders on the bike and everything, and, and it was fine, all right? The handlebars didn't get bent or anything. However, my primary, well, not my primary drive, okay, I think it, it has something, it may have something to do with the primary drive, but it's the, um, something is wrong with my swing arm, all right? Um, so we had one more race after that. It was called the Last Chance Qualifier, and fortunately, he didn't hit me this time because I raced against him again. And then, like, yeah, so the guy didn't even apologize or nothing, man. Like, he hit me really hard, man. Really hard. All right? He didn't even bother to check it. Hey, are you all right? Is your bike okay? You know, you want to file an insurance claim? That <laughs> type of thing, man. Um, but, yeah, man, um, he hit me so hard that the bike is making, like, a knocking noise right now, all right? And, and what it sounds like is when the primary drive bearings are going out, that's what it is. So um, it wasn't making that noise before, all right? I didn't notice it in the last race, the last chance qualifier. Um, yeah, I could, I don't know. We were just on the track for just a short amount of time. The bike rides fine, okay? I didn't even notice it. I don't notice it, but I can, I do notice the sound it makes, all right? Um, so we're gonna have to take the bike apart, the, take the swing arm, the whole rear end apart, and then figure out what's going on. I, I I'm hoping, it's just bad bearings, man. <laughs> the the it was quiet before this, all right. I thought like so I, I replaced the jack shaft bearings like two years ago, all right. I've had these jack shaft bearings in here. They're they're brand new bearings two years ago, all right. And and they were silent then, all right. So so I was thinking ah two years, all this racing and drag racing and dirt bike, all this racing that we've been doing probably damn you know probably worn out jack shaft bearings all right so hopefully that's the case we're gonna have to get in there and find out but i have a video that's how i found out it was right? like that i took the bike for a ride because i needed to bleed some of the power off so it wouldn't be at like a hundred percent and then uh and then yeah i just heard that kind of knocking noise all right when i was riding around all right so it's another i broke my suron again but i didn't actually break it the guy a zero fx broke my bike okay um, that's damn zero bikes, man. I'm telling you. Um, that guy shouldn't have been racing in that class. That bike was like so big. He should have been racing in like a 230 or a 250 class, something like that, you know? Yeah, so we know the, the fender's broken. Hades Mega's gonna attempt to fix this. I have a plastic repair, a plastic welding repair kit. We, I can try to fix this. That's not a big deal. You know, um, it's, I can ride without this, but it's the, it's good to have this because it protects your shock. It protects the bottom of your bike. So I would like to have this, right? This is only like 20 bucks, okay? But yeah, it's it's a real bummer that, yeah, dude, this guy hit me and, and now it's caused all this damage to my bike, okay? Um, fortunately, he didn't hit any of the kids that were racing because it was a mini bike race and there were a lot of kids. All right, anyway, um, yeah, let's go listen to the bike. All right, um, and then I'm gonna have to take it apart sometime this week. I do have another jack shaft with fresh bearings in it, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna swap them out, and then uh, and then when I get the time, when I get a new set of bearings, we'll change the bearings on the one that's in here. The one that's in here is is a four bearing jack shaft. It's a stronger one, but it's like it's all messed up, man. <laughs> like my chain came off in one race, and it just it just tore that jack shaft up. It's all are all gnarled up and everything. So yeah, I, I don't know. Hades Vegas debating. Maybe I should just get a, a whole a whole new jack shaft assembly, you know, um, with the bearings and everything. So we'll we'll see. Um, let's go see if, uh, I, if there's some kind of damage to it. So what I've done so far is I've I tried to tighten the chain because when the chain when the primary drive chain gets noisy, it starts making noises. So I tightened it and I lubed it. All right, I tightened the the secondary drive chain. Okay. And I lubed it also, still makes the same noise, all right? So um, so that's like the first step that I did. Um, oh, okay, and then just now before I left, I had to go to City Hall to, to pay some taxes, but they were freaking closed. Ah, the swing, the swing arm axle, all right? I actually have spare ones too, so. The swing arm axle, I, um, I loosened it, all right? What I did is I loosened it and then I tightened it um, to maybe I was like, oh, maybe like it's not, Maybe if I get a line itself or something, or maybe it's loose or something. So I loosen the nut. All right, I have a nut on mine. I took, I, I changed it, I converted it to a nut. Um, and then I tightened it and I torqued it again, and it still made the same noise. I did notice when I took this, the nut off, the swing arm 
uh, moved a little bit, all right? The swing arm axle, it moved a little bit, all right? But then I tightened it again and it tightened up again, so yeah, I don't know. Well, we won't really know until we really get in there. But let's see if we it makes any noise. It so it makes noise under load, all right. So whenever I accelerate or if I or, or if I regen, it makes a noise, all right. But when I'm just kind of coasting along, it doesn't really. It, you can't really hear it all that much, all right. But it's kind of like a clanking kind of sound. Um, and it just it sounds very familiar to when your jack shaft bearings are going. Okay, it could be the swing arm bearings too, because the swing arms have bearings too. Um, but yeah, so my guess is he hit me. He hit us here. Right, right in the middle of the swing arm, all right? Fortunately, nothing is broken, all right? We're going to have to kind of... I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and it looks fine, all right? Um, but, but yeah, the, he hit me right where the... He must... The wheel must have... His wheel probably hit me, and it broke the... Uh, it broke the fender off, and it probably damaged the bearings in the swing arm. So, yeah, not, not good, man. No bueno. Anyway, let's, let's just... Uh, um, I'll free rev it and see if it makes any noise, but like I said, it only makes it under load. Um, but I, I did have, I did, I shot a clip of me riding home, and uh, you might hear it. Okay, um, I don't know, it's kind of, but you you might hear it in the video. All right, so so check that video out right now. Okay, did you get that? All right, let's, just, let's go free rev it a little bit and see if you can hear it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can hear. You can. Can you hear it when it when it when uh, when you when the regen when it starts decelerating? You can hear like a knocking sound. You can't hear it accelerating because it, it, there's no load on the bike. You can, you can kind of hear it accelerating, but. hear like a kind of gritty kind of sound all right well anyway um but the the, the good thing is like I, I can ride the bike you know it's just making that noise that's it's nothing it's nothing disastrous yet <laughs> so let's say all right the swing arm is still tight all right let's give a tug on the swing arm yeah, it's on the stands kind of there's a little play in the shock so Oh yeah, this is loose. And look at this. I guess I need to tighten that more. <laughs> yeah, that's really loose. Look at that. Okay, I need to tighten that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we gotta go take it apart. So so that'll be the in the next video. We'll take it apart and we'll see what's up. Okay, so yeah, so I broke my Sauron again, man, or somebody else broke my Sauron this time. <laughs> All right, it's big out. Yeah, but I'm telling you this, man, before I took it to that race, it was fine, you know, it wasn't making any noises and stuff, and then now it is, so, and then now I don't have my rear fender. It, 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 when I was riding back, it all makes sense, man. I'm like, oh, the, the guy broke my rear fender off, and the rear fender is on the swing arm, and my swing arm is making noises now. So, uh, yeah, it. It, I put two and two together. Yeah, that's when that guy hit me. He damaged something on my swing arm. All right, he damaged something in like this area right here. Okay, other than the fender, you know. So, 
kind of bummed out okay, about that. Okay, first thing man. to fix is just clankety rear suspension, <laughs> like I just showed you earlier. So this is how loose it is. Yeah, <laughs> the whole bolt moves, all right? All right, I tightened it a little bit already, but like I didn't torque it yet, all right? I'm, I'm in the process of doing it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to torque it to 22 foot-pounds where it's supposed to be. I didn't know that was loose like that, so. Anyway, I'm going to be, we're going to be taking all these bolts out later, so I'll check how tight those ones are, but but this one we're not going to take out, so we'll tighten this one again. Okay, I just torqued it. It took quite a bit of turns to get it to thing, but yeah, it doesn't move anymore, all right? It doesn't move easily anyways. And then, uh, yeah, let's tug up on the swing arm again. Oh, yeah, he's mega should be checking this stuff, you know. There you go. It's quiet now. Remember, it was clankety before. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's really loose. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> you get that? Yeah, it's quiet again. I thought that was normal. But you got to be checking your bolts out sometimes. Hey, Zemega, what about these ones? That's good. That's good. I can't really get to the bottom one here, but... Does it look loose? It, it kind of looks loose. There's no uh, thing on it. But I think it's fine. Anyway, we're going to have to take out all that stuff anyways to take the swinger out. Okay, so that's the first thing fixed. Maybe I'll, I'll take it for a quick spin right now since I got my gear on still. See if uh, it quiets it up, but I don't think that, that's our problem. So I, I'm, I'm fairly certain it has something to do with the drivetrain that's making that knocking sound. All right. All right, I just took it for a ride around the neighborhood a little bit, and it's still making a noise, guys, so yeah, bummer. Hear it? Yeah. I, I can, you can hear it, and I can feel it. I can feel it in the foot pegs. The vibration, not good. Roll off. It's yeah. a lot of noise. Oh. <laughs> man, it gets up, man. All right, but yeah, this uh, the the suspension is quiet now. So yeah, that bolt was definitely loose, man. Okay, well I fixed one thing, but uh, the main problem is not uh fixed. So um, it's still making a lot of noise. Um, still making a lot of noise and I can feel it so there's something wrong with something hopefully it's hopefully it's like a bearing or two got messed up or something 